Hi, C Sharp, and what we'll look at today is uh, some collision detection, how to move the, the keys, uh, how to use the keys to move across the screen, and uh, then how to make the whole thing animate. Now, uh, using images that you've done from before, you can create a simple game, and what we're going to do is uh, take a look at this one right here, fully animated keyboard detection. All right, that's the program we're going to look at. And basically it has a panel on the screen and no picture boxes, all right? So what we're going to do in this particular application is use purely the graphic object. Now, we're going to use the keyboard in a few minutes, and one of the key properties you have to set before you let uh, the keyboard uh, activate is in properties, and it's called key press. Now, what you do is you got to make sure that you're clicked on the form, and when you go over to the right hand side it says key preview true okay so make sure that's set otherwise when we start using the keys whatever keys you're going to decide to use in your game it won't pick them up because of that property not being set all right now when you run this program i don't know if you remember it it's just a basic program it has an object falling from the sky and you have the man at the bottom which is that basketball player and i can move my j and l keys to go left and right and if it gets hit in the head, it bounces up the other way. All right, so let's take a look at all the code that's necessary to make this program work. Like I mentioned, uh, we're not going to be using picture boxes at all. So at the very beginning of the program, what you do is you declare all the different image objects that you're going to have. So you're going to have an image array that's going to be the basketball player at the bottom. You're going to have your background, and you're going to have the actual man moving around. Now you're going to say, but sir, aren't they in here? Those are feeding into this image of the man, okay? So there's sort of like two things in one here, and then obviously the ball is an image that we'll use. Count will be used by the image array that will cycle through the images, okay? When you load the form, it makes an instance of the panel, all right? We load in all our images off the hard drive, and uh, this one loads in the array of images and remember when you're looking for these pictures these are located in the folder where you do your program you sort of sneak your way down into there okay and you go into the bin folder debug this one I didn't put them in another subfolder I put them all right there to use okay let's get into the main part of the game as I press begin I initialize the timer if it's false I turn it back on and I make the man about halfway across the screen and at the very bottom of the screen, okay? So that's the height of the screen, and I move him up just a bit as high as the person's height is, okay? This draws the background of the screen, and this draws the man, all right? So you notice background is an image, and then I'm going to start it at corner zero, 00 at the very top left corner, okay? So now I start the game in this particular... Uh, application the timer is going to every uh, time it ticks a sixtieth of a second or whatever I've got it set to we're going to have this image X okay and it's going to be always halfway across the screen so that value is always going to be that set number then I'm going to draw the background and this is kind of a way to wipe out whatever was there a few minutes ago and with a new image so that gives you the impression that it's moving down the screen this is how I make the computer figure out what to go down by, all right? So image, direct, image uh, direction is set at 1, and I times that by the panel height divided by 100. So I go down in hundredths of the size of the screen, okay? So if the screen was 1,000, I'd be going down by 10 every time, all right? This is how you draw the ball the dropping from the screen. Remember, it's always going to be at a position X, so it's always going to be the middle, and this is the number that's going to change. The man along the bottom, he's always going to be at this height, okay? So he's not going to go up or down. He's just going to go sideways. The only number that's going to change for him is that X value, okay? Now, let's skip the collision for a second, and let's jump to how he moves. When you put your finger down on the key, if you press the L key, he moves to the right by 5. If you press the J key, he moves backwards by 5. All right, and now the collision. As we mentioned before with collision, it takes four components to figure out collision, okay? So you have to figure out if he's gone over a bit from the left, from the right, from the top, from the bottom. And basically, this is the collision routine, and if he hits a particular spot, he bounces back up and you change the direction. All right, so that's the basic movement and how you move things, and the very bottom, obviously, is the cycling through.